Hi, I'm Annie and you're watching Annie's Hideout. And in today's episode, we're headed to the hideout. We have to go fix all those broken pipes that happened back in January. Immediately after um, clipping the old PVC pipe, we were headed out of the crawl space and my friend fell backwards and landed on the um, emergency shutoff valve. So we re-flooded the crawl space. After running around for about 10 minutes, like a bunch of chickens with our heads chopped off, we were able to find the city water shutoff. So the old emergency shutoff was just spraying water so fast we couldn't even like stop it. The next day we were back at it. We just laid down um, roofing material so that we wouldn't fall deep into the mud and we just laid it down flat. I think I had 20 pieces in the barn and we just used those and moved them around underneath the crawl space. Here's the new shutoff. It's PEX on PEX. So we clipped the blue uh, PVC under the sink and taped it to both the red uh, and the blue down here and fed it through because there's no way for us to get to the kitchen all the way back to the water heater. So we just used duct tape and fed these pipes all the way through. I'm using PEX A versus PEX B. What is the difference? One, you crimp it. The other one, you expand it. Um, PEX A is cheaper and I'm sure PEX B is great, but we just went with PEX A. The main shutoff is in. A lot of the piping is in as well. All PEX under the house. This whole entire project was very um, stressful, I think, but it turned out to be very simple. Um, I think it was bigger in my mind than what the actual project was. The hideout only has a few places for water. We got the toilet, the tubby, a bathroom sink, and a kitchen sink, and that's it. Um, there is no washer and dryer on site. Uh, there is a hot water heater, so we were able to pipe the entire house in probably five hours. All right, guys, that's it for this week. Uh, next week, we're doing a beer tasting. We're going to take a week off and like and subscribe.